if we are thinking about uh, nuclear energy. No, I, don't, I wouldn't say people are worried about that. Because uh, it's so familiar to us. It's been here for about 50 years already. In der Gemeinde Eurajoki, im Südwesten Finnlands am Botnischen Meerbusen, befindet sich das Kernkraftwerk Olkiluoto. Neben drei Reaktoren und einer Verpackungsanlage liegt dort auch ein fast fertiges Tiefenlager für radioaktive Abfälle, Onkalo. Was so viel wie kleine Höhle bedeutet, ist das weltweit erste seiner Art und wird 2025 eröffnet. Die drei Gemeindepräsidenten aus dem Zürcher Unterland sind angereist, um sich vor Ort ein Bild zu machen vom finnischen Tiefenlager. Treffen mit Vesa Lakaniemi, dem Bürgermeister von Eurajoki. Die Frage an ihn, wie halten es die Finnen mit ihrem tiefen Lager? Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome to Eurajoki. Of course, we have always have uh, some opposition in nuclear issues. And some people were concerned about external image of the municipality, but that never happened. People want often know about prices of our houses. Are they decreasing? No, they are increasing all the time. Can people fish there in the sea? Yes, they can fish. Can they grow potatoes in the ground? Yes, they can. We live here regular typical Finnish life in Eurajoki. I can truly say that in Eurajoki, every family, they have somebody who has worked or is working at the moment in the Olgiluoto. That's how they know much about uh, nuclear issues and they know very well that uh, high-level security guards are what they have there. For every building in Eurajoki, uh, in the site, so-called nuclear island, They collect tax, whether it's a nuclear reactor or it's a shed of some kind, and that's a lot of money. I think it's something like 10 million euros every year. And they use it for schools, roads, to build sporting sites. So Eurajoki has really good services for such a small place, and everyone knows that.